What is up everybody, Crestus Crypto here, back in a video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. At 2,500 subscribers, I will be giving away $150 worth of Eagle to make sure you guys are supporting the channel. Do have a website, crestuscrypto.com. Make sure you guys bookmark it, check it out if you want to, and get all your latest and greatest crypto news and updates through here. Also, make sure you guys are following me on my Twitter, at Crestus Crypto. Links are in the description down below. A lot of you guys heard me in one of my previous videos talking about Ledger uh, and how Elrond is now integrated into the Ledger Live uh, suite and application on your desktop. Today I'll be doing a full walkthrough on how to actually use your ledger, connect it to the Elrond wallet and actually access and utilize its features. So what's interesting to note here is when you scroll down to their latest Twitter post talking about this, Lucian Minku actually posted a comment saying upcoming features, ESDT tokens and Eagle staking in Ledger Live. So that is going to be huge, being able to use your Eagle to stake on their ledger uh, is definitely going to be useful for a lot of people who want to keep their funds safe. So before I get into actually how to navigate and use the ledger, I want to talk to you guys about what the ledger is for those who don't know what it is. So there's two different models, right? There's the Nano S and then there's the Nano X. Now, the one I have here today is the Nano S. This is the one I purchased. You guys not might be able to see this in the camera, but I purchased this Nano S a long time ago, probably around 2018. So I've owned it for over three, four years now, and it's been working strong. So what you get out of the box, you get a cable that you're able to connect the ledger to your uh, computer. It's just a standard USB 2.0 cable. They may have improved that to a 3.0 now since it's 2021, 2022, not sure but you also have the Nano S itself. So as you see, it looks like a little thumb drive and then you have a nice lanyard that goes with it. So if you guys open it up, it flips open and you'll have your kind of your interface here that you're able to interact with the applications or your you know smart contract apps such as the Elrond wallet. And I'm gonna be getting into that in a second here. Now I do have an affiliate link uh, if you guys would like to purchase through that, it just supports the channel. You don't have to by no means. But if you are interested in buying a Nano S, make sure you guys go into the uh, comment section and my links in the description and use that link to purchase this Nano S. No pressure, but again, it helps support the channel and I'll really appreciate that. So now covering what the device actually looks like, I wanna talk about what a ledger is uh, specifically. A lot of people don't know the difference between a hot wallet and a cold wallet. So what a hot wallet is, is think of Binance where you have to actually keep your money, uh, keep your cryptocurrency in an exchange uh, that has their own wallet system. Technically, you don't have true ownership of that wallet. Uh, you access that wallet through your account, which the uh, exchange such as Binance controls. Now, the difference with a cold wallet, right, uh, is that a cold wallet is actually something that you can store offline. So a lot of people, you know, compare this to a 24 word seed phrase. Uh, but more in depth than that, having your actual wallet encrypted on a device. So again, bringing the ledger here, uh, this technically stores my wallets. When I interact with the blockchains of various different coins, they're talking to this thing. And this is kind of the gatekeeper that opens the gates in terms of my funds and my actual cryptocurrency that's stored on this wallet. So uh, don't think of it like data being stored on there. It's just the wallet keys, everything that has to do with your funds and you having access to it is stored on this device. So what kind of is awesome about that, it gives you true ownership of your money. So think about it. If you have $50,000 worth of Elrond or Bitcoin or Ethereum, you actually are storing it on here and no one can actually you know, get access to that money unless they have this device or they have the 24 word C phrase that they could use to uh, recover it on another device. So it's very important that you understand that dis distinction. Uh, a lot of people do like to have a ledger or cold wallet storage. This is not the only brand, but it's a way of truly, you know, giving you peace of mind of your assets and making sure that no one has their hands on it. Now, scrolling down here, it does also mention other features like starting your crypto journey. You can buy directly and securely with their pro uh, partners through Ledger Live. Uh, they support Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, and lots more. They also, you know, are able to send and receive, easily manage your crypto, safely send and receive 1,800 plus coins and tokens directly with your smartphone or computer using Ledger Live. Again, Ledger Live, we'll get into that in just a second here. Swap, exchange one crypto for another, diversify your portfolio by exchanging one crypto for another through the Ledger Live. 
And then you can also stake. So there's staking features now enabled on the Ledger Live app. So you can stake your crypto to passively make money from your assets, like getting interest payments from a traditional bank, except for more, except more. And then lastly, here, secure industry leading security with Ledger wallets. Again, they state that the Ledger Live is backed up by the most trusted hardware wallet available. Our wallets are independently certified and designed to resist sophisticated cyber attacks. So you are in full control. Probably the most important thing. Lastly here, just, you know, real quickly, this is kind of the uh, coins and tokens. They cover over 5,500 different coins and tokens. Safely send and receive over 5,500 coins. And then as you guys can see here, you can manage even more using external wallets. And then you have a whole, you know, slew of different coins here. So I just want you guys to keep that in mind. Uh, there's, there's definitely a lot of, you know, options for you to use your ledger um, in terms of storing assets. All right, now with that said, the first step here is you're going to be downloading the Ledger Live app. So it takes you to here. You can either go to their website and then just go to apps and services and downloads. And then it takes you to this page, download the applications, an exe file, uh, about 200 megabytes. So once you download it and open it up, it might give you a different page. You might have to set it up because it's a new application. But for the most part, it should take you to this. Now, where I am is different features on the Ledger Live. I will not get into full details on it because I'm mainly covering Elrond and how to access Elrond wallets. But it has different tabs here like your portfolio, accounts, discover, send, receive, buy, sell, swap, and then manager. So what we're going to do here, we're going to click on the accounts. It looks like a wallet. And then what we're going to do is add an account. As you can see, I already have an Elrond account created, but I'm going to create another one. So you're going to click add here and it's going to be a four step process. So what you're going to do here, you're going to select the account of your uh, choosing. We're going to be doing Elrond here. So just make sure you guys select Elrond or you guys can search it up. Then you guys are going to press continue. It's going to make you plug in your device. So as you guys can see here, uh, I'm going to flip this bad boy open. So it exposes its USB port and then I'm going to plug my cable to it. I'm sure everyone knows how to do that. So I'll cut. So after you enter your pin and you log into your ledger, it will continue to move through the steps. And then what's gonna happen here, it's already saying that I have an account in my portfolio, so it's not gonna let me add one. But what's gonna happen here is you can uh, actually add an account and then rename it to whatever name you want. I just named mine's Elrond one for simplicity. And then what you're gonna do, it will take you to the confirmation. You're gonna confirm that, and then you should be good to go. Now what this means here, you're able to receive Elrond assets and actually track it and use the Ledger Live functionality with Elrond. So uh, that's a big step forward compared to other coins where you can only send and receive, but now you can actually have an interface with the Elrond network. And again, if you guys don't rename it, you guys can also rename it here if you would like to. I'm just gonna leave here, uh, leave it here for simplicity's sake. So real quickly guys, I forgot to mention here, so I wanted to talk more about this. Now, I already kind of explained what it is, but what you get out of the box, right? Once you open it up, it's gonna have a card where you're gonna have seed phrases. Now, it's important, guys, you keep these seed phrases uh, locked and loaded because if you lose these seed phrases that it comes with it, uh, it's about 24 different words. You will actually lose your funds that's in a wallet. There's no way to recover it except for those seed phrases. So make sure you don't give it to anybody. You lock it up um, and make sure you guys keep those safe because if you guys, you know, even lose your ledger or, for example, um, you know, you put your pin in three times wrong, because you forgot or whatever, it's gonna actually reset the ledger and you're gonna have to put in those uh, recovery phrases. So make sure you guys are keeping that in mind. All right, so for the most part, that is the Ledger Live. Again, not too much functionalities. Uh, they are gonna be bringing staking and ESTTs in the future. So make sure you guys are looking out for that. All right, guys, so now with that said here, we're gonna actually explore the Elrond wallet and how to actually connect your ledger with the Elrond wallet. So what you're gonna do here, access the wallet link I'll put it in the description down below, uh, just like you normally would. But what you're gonna do here, a lot of you already seen the ledger option. You're gonna click ledger. It's gonna ask you to connect your ledger, unlock your device and open the Elrond app. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm actually gonna do this live, select the Elrond network, and then you're gonna click connect ledger. So once you press connect ledger, it's gonna make me confirm it. And then you have all these different options. Uh, so what's cool with the ledger is that <laughs> there's a lot of wallets that uh, you are able to choose from. So I think you have um, more than 20 different wallets for you to use. And I don't know if there's a limit exactly, but you do have a lot of uh, different options. So if you would like to switch from wallet, one wallet to the other, you are able to do so. And if you guys can see here, I'm gonna do zero. So you guys can select any one you want to. It shows your balance and it shows what you know hashtag number it is. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna confirm this 
it's going to confirm my ledger address. So what I'm going to do on my ledger, I'm confirming my address uh, that this is the one that I'm trying to access. Yes, I confirm it. Uh, I approve that. And then it's going to take me right into the actual uh, wallet itself. So taking a look at the wallet itself here, you're pretty much this is your standard display. Now uh, you can send, receive, and I think NFTs as well. It's going to store everything like you would with a normal address that entire plethora of functionality, uh, you know, with the uh, ledger compared to, you know, using a paper wallet or, you know, the Meyer app. Now, I'm not sure that the Meyer app is able to be utilized with the ledger. I don't believe so. Someone knows more about that. Correct me on that. But for the most part, uh, because you're really using your phone, I think in the future, if you're able to connect a USB to your phone or have some type of Apple download if you use an iPhone, Maybe that would work, but for the time being, that is not an option. Lastly, I also try to access the Myra Exchange with a Ledger wallet. So I'm um, using Google Chrome and I try to do so, but you know, whenever I try to connect it, it's giving me this security key. And I also try this on Microsoft Edge as well. So right now, for the time being, it's not letting you uh, access the Myra Dex using your Ledger. So this is something that the Elrond team might have to fix or it's not even implemented yet. If anybody has used other browsers than Chrome or Edge, uh, let me know and if you got it working so I could probably try that. So with that said, guys, pretty brief video here. I just wanted to kind of go over the ledger and show its kind of functionalities, how to interact with it uh, on the L1 network. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. If I missed anything or I was wrong on certain parts of this video, uh, I don't think I was, but just let me know in the comment section down below. It's always appreciated. Like, subscribe, uh, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a good one.